My dog and I have got an important question in this video. What is the most challenging skill to master when learning French? Yes, you are right. That's French pronunciation. Do you know the difference between this and this word? Do you know how to pronounce R correctly in French? Do you know the rule of pronouncing consonant at the end of the words? Luckily, all your issues related to your accent can be easily solved in French. Hello French learners, it's Saji and you're watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn the rules and sound of pronouncing words, get handy learning tips, and of course find additional guidance on your journey to making your French words sound just right. Some general information about French pronunciation. French, exactly the same as English, has got 26 letters. The good news is that most of the French consonants sound exactly the same as they do in English. The bad news is that there are some vowels and consonants in French that don't exist in English. Let's go through the details. We start with the correct pronunciation of R in French. To pronounce that correctly, pretend you are gargling. <sighs> the sound is from here. <sighs> Listen and repeat after me. Arrive. Arrive. Vraiment. Vraiment. Sucre. Are you still repeating? Very good. Sucre. Frère. Frère. Well done. What is the difference between this and this? The French vowel U doesn't exist in English. That's why it's a little bit difficult to pronounce it. You have to say it like U. U, round your lips, U. Next to this French vowel U, we have got the sound of OU in French, which is pronounced slightly differently. This is U, U in SU. So U and U. If you don't learn how to pronounce them correctly, it will lead to misunderstanding. You ask why? Let's see. With U, CHU, means you informal. But if you say it like u, I mean tu, means all. Tu, tu. The next example is ju with the meaning of juice, and ju means play. Ju, ju. The next one, vu, sight. Vu means you. See, they are really different. And now silent letters. Silent letters or lettres muettes, like most language concepts in French, has got some rules and, of course, exceptions again. For example, silent letter E, it has got many rules. Unless it has an accent on it or it's part of a two letter words like le, je, or so, you don't pronounce that E. Other than E, there are some other letters which are silent if they exist at the end of the words. Let's take a look at the list. To give you an idea, I am going to teach you some examples. Listen and repeat after me. Trop. Trop. P is silent. Pulet. Pulet, not pulette. Le son. Le son, le prix, le prix, X is silent. Froid, froid, not froide. Che, che, Z is silent here. Be careful. Almost all the letters in French can be silent, except J and V in special circumstances. And now about non-silent letters in French at the end of the words. As a general rule, 
there are some letters which are pronounced if they exist at the end of the words. Let's take a look at the list. To teach you better, I am going to give you some examples. Listen and repeat after me. Avec. Avec. The next one is active. Active. Then, sank. Sank. The next one, hiver. Hiver. Some of you may say, what about the verbs like aller or arriver? Yes. In the infinitives which end in er, or is not pronounced. Or some of you may say, what about the color blonde? C is silent here. Yes, you are right. For the answer, I can just say, I am sorry, French is full of exceptions. I come back with my dog to teach you nasals. Regular oral vowels are pronounced just by your mouth. But in vowels, you have the air coming out of your nose and your mouth at the same time. As a regular rule, if you have an N, oh oh, don't do that, please. Sorry. If you have an N or M followed by a vowel, this is a nasal. For example, N followed by U is nasal and is called A. A. But if you add one E after that, this is not nasal anymore and it is called une. Une. I am going to teach you some examples with nasal. Listen and repeat after me. Important. Important. Bon. Bon. Quand. Quand. Voilà. If you are a French learner, I am sure at least one time you have heard the word liaison in French. Liaison is a link between two words that necessarily the first one ends with a consonant and the second one starts with a vowel. I am going to make myself clear through one example. Look at this sentence. You basically tend to read it like je do ampoule. But by liaison, you add the X of the first word to the ampoule and you read it je do ampoule. Je do ampoule. The letters that are good for having liaison are N, that it is pronounced like N, P, that it is pronounced like itself, D changes to T, S changes to Z, and X, like the example, changes to Z again. 